Hello, hello, crafty peeps. Welcome back to my channel, Crafty Ish Kristen. Today, Duncan and I have a, another unbagging for you. Don't worry, I have wiped the bag down so it is safe for his little kitty tongue to peruse. Uh, true story this bag had to be put in the bathroom because he decided he wanted to follow the person carrying it around the house. And then later on in the day, somehow he got into the bathroom and the bathroom door is always closed. Um, so we heard some noises and he was in there and he was just having a grand old time. He actually like tore part of the bag. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, cats, right? Sorry, bud. I gotta take it. I know, get your, get your furry back out of my way. Uh, these were sent over to me by Paint Some Way. They let me pick out some goodies that I can share and show off with you guys to see if you want to place an order. I will have the links in the description box down below to the things that I ordered. This cutie pie. And yeah, I know it's Valentine's Day, but he was so cute. I don't care because he's he's got my colors. Okay, can you stop? He's got pinks and teals. Uh, this little gnome. Which side note? If you try to search for gnomes on some of the the uh, budget friendly sites, um, a lot of times it comes up with goblin in the description, which kind of freaked me out a little bit. But you know, I think it's just a translation thing. So if you search gnomes and you're not finding things, try goblin. Now, there's your, there's your interesting fact of the day. The kit comes with a basic toolkit. This is all you need to technically diamond paint to get started. Oh my goodness, excuse you. Get, oh my gosh, he got a hold of a package. Hang on, hang on everybody. Oh my gosh, you are a nightmare. Oh, once he gets a taste of the, the sweet, sweet plastic, man. It's like a, it turns into a drug addict. So anyways, this is all you need to diamond paint. Some people, okay, you are knocking my light off. <laughs> Train wreck. Mm. Over. <laughs> this is all you need to diamond paint. <laughs> Moving on from that, because seemingly we're not going to be able to get past this. Um, there are 20 colors on this diamond painting, and it is going to measure out at, um, oh my gosh, about 33 that way. And you are in my way. You're in my way by 23. So a bigger, a bigger outside section than some. Uh, but yeah, for the price, you can't really beat it. So there are no guide circles. Get your butt out of my face. No guide circles, which is my favorite. And it looks like we have numbers and alphabet. And the numbers are actually in order, which is very, very kind of them. I appreciate that. I know some of us have, you know, maybe not OCD, but you know, OCD tendencies. And so that can really be annoying. And even the alphabet is kind of in order too, which is lovely. Let's look at the drills. These are in my least favorite kinds of bags, the little bags. Um, but you know, as long as the drills are good, then that is all that matters. And because these are going to be acrylic, they probably won't have static, which is a blessing. He is, stop cat. He's trying to sneak under the table to get the plastic bag that's in my lap. So, ow. So we have a nice variety of blues, grays, browns, pinks, we got navy blue, we got teals, we got pink, 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 lots of white for the background, which is to be expected. So there's a nice little burst of color blocking right 
back there. And then you have, you know, some more of the little detail-y bits. Got some teals, pinks. Oh, sorry, he's trying to scratch my leg. Awesome. So that is the, I think it was called Gnome in Car. And there were different ones as well. So if, you know, pinks and teals are not your thing, uh, there were several others to choose from. And then you just go down that rabbit hole of like, look at all the cute gnomes in general. And yeah. Painting number two is, can I open it? <laughs> Maybe. It is called Glass Art Animals. And it is a stained glass style. Um, I kind of like that they're offering more kits that are not just like the 30 by 30 or the 30 by 40 sizes. Because, you know, sometimes people, you know, want something with maybe a little more detail. Because if you go bigger, you're going to have a little more detail. So this one is measuring at 35 by, hang on, I gotta reach, 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 or you can't see it down here, but it's about 55. So this is the glass art animal. This is Fox, and there were a few other animals. I do not remember what they were, uh, but if you click on the listing, you can take a, a gander for yourself. This one comes with a standard toolkit as well. It has a bigger piece of wax, um, obviously, because it's a bigger kit. And let's see, we have right here, we have only have 23 colors. That's surprising for a canvas this big, but I guess it makes sense. And it looks like everything is an alphabet symbol. The printing clarity looks good. I use a light pad, so usually I don't have problems with most canvases in general, um, but I know some people the light pad helps and for some people the light pad kind of hinders, so you gotta do what works for you, boo. And this has a code on it, 88788, and there is a code right here that has that number as well. So, if you keep your diamonds separate, then you are good to go and you won't have to try to go, which diamonds does this painting go to? I usually write on Sharpie, or on Sharpie, with Sharpie, on the bags, just as well, because uh, I am notorious for just throwing everything into my office and then closing the door. Uh, let's see. So I don't really want to take these out because they look so pretty all lined up, but we have, it looks like three three bags of black, which is to be expected for something that is more stained glassy. Let's see. Then we have a light yellow, bright yellow, orange, kind of a lime green, red, some browns, browns, which makes sense because it's a fox. But we got some happy bright colors, like we got some teals, we got some orange, orangey corals, we got more teals. We got more greens, we got a happy purple, we got a beautiful lime green, we got more teals. Oh, I love the teals. And we have some, some white and some brown. Very, very beautiful. Super, super happy. I don't, I wish I could remember which other animals they had. I, I looked at it and then they all completely lost my brain. Uh, because I can't remember anything right now. Let's see, there we go. So those are my two canvases that I got from Paint Some Way. Um, I will have them linked in the description box below if you want to check them out as well. What do you guys think? If you had to pick one, which one would you pick? They're kind of very different, really. You got like the happy, you know, cheery, go lucky Mr. Mr. Gnome, and then you have Mr. Mr. Fox over here. And then we have Duncan's butt right here that's just twitching. He's waiting for me to move so he can grab the bag that's out of my lap. So yeah, if you have not, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, hearting, farting, doing all the things. I will have a link in the description box as well to my Facebook 
community group if you would like to join and share pictures of whips, share funny pictures, get some, you know, support and encouragement if you need it. That is what we are here for. And if you would like to get your own Pippi the Crafty Peep sticker, there is a Google Doc in the description box down below. And I would love to send you one anywhere in the world. Just write your address like exactly how, you know, it needs to be written on the envelope because uh, I don't have that, <laughs> I don't have that knowledge of how to mail things internationally. So yeah, big thank you to Paint Some Way again for sending me these things. I will add them to my ever-growing pile of things that I want to do that don't have time for. So until next time, big awkward hugs. Bye guys.